to my channel my name is Phoebe and on this channel we talk about life in Germany how to navigate through life in Germany and how to make your life in Germany easier basically and one of my audience on TikTok one of the followers said hey you have great skin what do you do thank you very much some of my friends have also asked me to talk about it because navigating through life in Germany with bad skin is we are we are battling a lot skin shouldn't be one of it and basically this is how to get clear skin um without harsh products we should do away with them i'm doing this with less light so you know that this is how i usually look and yes i'm wearing makeup but you've seen me without makeup as well and i do have breakouts here and there but these are just hormonal things you can't always control that so First, before I show you the products, I'm just going to say this. Number one, patience. If you're trying to change your skin around, you need to be very, very patient. Number two, try with mild products. And if you want fast action, don't just go and buy anything. Go to the dermatologist and let them give you something and talk about it. Tell, tell the dermatologist you don't want anything harsh. And sometimes it could be something, you know, underlying. It could be under, other underlying um, issues that you're dealing with and not necessarily your skin because your skin is just telling you that this is what um, is going on in your body okay sometimes drinking lots of water would solve a lot of it as you can see me i love water so i'm here and they gave me the complimentary one that's the left one but my own water is the big one and i drink a lot and lots of water and still sometimes i do get breakouts as i said it's hormonal when it's closer to the time of the month you know as women we go through this so i have laid out my stuff here so i can show you guys what i use on a regular basis um i think one thing too that can cause your skin to you know misbehave is stress so i i normally typically have really good skin and i'm a i used to be a very lazy person when it came to skincare i just liked to use basic things and usually what i would use was just a cleansing foam even though i was using makeup um okay let me rephrase this before i used to use makeup a lot like almost daily and that was before up until like 2018 2019 2020 2021 i would only wear makeup when i'm um going somewhere special i feel like it but then i'll just you know go out with my bare face that is one thing but even when i was wearing makeup i would just use the regular cleaning cleansing gel like the germans would call it vashkeel and I wouldn't um, use a lot of things. I'll just use that in just regular lotion. And that was it. So when my skin started acting up last year, after I had gone through a lot of stress, some of you may know, um, I'm still in my first year of grief after I lost my mom. My skin started doing all kinds of things. And also prior to that, it was more in this area, this area because of the mask. So my skin was, you know, reacting to wearing the mask and not having lots of oxygen. And, you know, I used to use the train a lot. So definitely I was using the mask at least two, three hours just for the train rides to work and back. Secondly, sometimes you'd be somewhere where you have to wear the mask, like in court. You have to wear the mask in court and all of that. So I was using the mask a lot. And sometimes too, I would have to be in the hospitals, like psychiatric clinics and everything. And there definitely you had to wear the mask, you know, as an interpreter, you, you go to other places. And I just had a lot of contacts with other people and most people wanted you to wear a mask and you also wanted to wear it for yourself. So that was when my skin started misbehaving. What I did was I was using um, black soap, as in Nchanago, Aleta Semina, Duduoshin. Yes, I was using that. And when it finished, problem solved i stopped and i'm as i said i'm not very disciplined when it comes to, I, I was not now i am <laughs> but i was not so when i first having this big big pimples it was an indication of stress so i started research and i was you know that's when a lot of products you know it's, it's like whenever you talk about that with other people instagram will start recommending things to you um Facebook will start recommending things to you. You watch YouTube, they are recommending things. So all the ads will be coming. So there was one particular brand that I like the name a lot. It starts with a P. Um, and I wanted to use that. But then 
the way the thing was set up, it would require me to be like very, very um, dedicated to this and also know what I'm using and all that. That was a lot of thing for me. So I just booked an appointment at a dermatologist and she gave me, where is it? I put everything out here. Just a second, guys. For some reason. Oh, yes. It was just right in front of me. I, she gave me this underscore this skin or rain okay and this is my second um it's my second product from this and it has acetylene acid acetylene acetylene so, sorry i think in english should be something like acetylene acid i'm just going to write the name here so you know so skin or rain helps with the pimples and all of that so that is th something that is prescribed okay and i use this um when i don't have anything on my face i leave my face alone but when i realize that hey it's getting there i use this once a day probably at night you know if i forget at night the next morning i'll use it but just once a day and it even stays on it once a day so as i said dermatologist patients what are your diet and just go see the doctor because it could be something else okay that's one thing so before i used to use this Balea. This is, I think, around one year or something. I think it used to be even 95 cents. And I believe it's still the same thing. They just changed the the, um, the packaging. And as you can see, I've been using it quite well. So this is like my go-through. What's this go-through? This is like my go-to. I've been using this brand for years. And so if you want something very affordable, this, okay? This. And before... I would only use this and see me take off my makeup and everything. So when my skin started acting up, I started switching. And I still use this, so don't think I don't. On days that I have, like, a, I use a lot of products. Like, I used primer. I used concealer. I used the mist and all of that. Then I would use this with other products. But days that I don't wear any, sorry. Days that I don't wear any makeup, it's either I use this or the other products. So when it comes to days I wear makeup, I use this, the ordinary. This is the Asqualine cleanser, right? This is it. As you can see, I still have <laughs> cotton on it because I use like the cotton buds on my face, but this. And you can see this bottle is very, very tired. Yes, this. I use this because it's more oil-based, so it helps break all the products down. And if I don't use this, I use Clinique. Clinique also has a makeup remover, but I don't have it here with me. I don't think so. So Clinique, I use that. As I'm, I use both. So Clinique and then I'll use this. Just to make sure that all the makeup has been broken down. All the products have been broken down. This is like my night routine that I'm talking about, okay? But I'm going to do this before I go to bed. So this. And then the next thing is that I would use this. This is open. Ooh. Oh, yeah. All right. As you can see, it's foamy. It's just like this. What do I do now? Just have to rub it in until it kind of looks dry. It was open because I traveled, so. Yeah, so when you travel, make sure you close your products well, else you'll be losing product. And this is not that cheap. I think this is between 15 and 20 euros, I believe. And this is the glucoside forming cleanser. So it's supposed to be a gentle cleanser so I use this, and sometimes I use this as well, because I just like it when it's for me, then I know within me that everything is gone, okay, for these two. And then when I'm done, I usually use a um, um, a cleansing, like face water. Some people would call it toner, but this has hydro complex, because sometimes some parts of my face try, tend to be dry, so I use this. Right, I use this. And as you can see, this is, La Skilla. yeah. I, as I said, Balea has served me well and this has aloe vera and everything in it. So I just stick by what I know. And on days that I feel lazy, this, these, these two work for me. Good. So this other product I use only at night. And this is my second bottle. I started using this on my face was acting up last year. This is for the spots that I have. So I have like darker areas around this place because I use concealer, you can't really see it well, but here where my glasses normally sit, 
I have like these dark, dark patches and also from the pimples and everything, you know, that you have dark areas like, like here, for example, you look and you realize that it's dark. So for this, I just use this maybe two to three times in a week. After using this, I use this to wipe my face and, you know, just let it sit in and dry. Okay. Once it's dry, sometimes I just go in and use this at night. Okay. This is like the regular face lotion. Sometimes too, my face doesn't feel that dry. Once it's, it dries, I just leave it. I don't know if it's a good thing to do, but it works for me for now. So unless it stops working for me, I will change to something else. So that is my night routine. This is how I take off my makeup. But I never sleep with makeup, no matter how tired I am. If I'm not going to shower, I'll make sure I take the makeup off. Very, very important. Lashes, everything. Go to bed, bare face, all right? But when you do this for a few days, you realize that, hey, my skin is responding. It really works. Morning time. So for morning time, I use um, similar things. So normally when I wake up, because I use so much in the evening, I either use just this or just this. Either one foaming cleanser. So when I'm taking my shower, I use this for my face or this. And then I go back with this again, with a cleansing lotion. I mean, the cleansing water. Somebody, some people call it toning water, but I use this because it's mild, you know, and I don't want my face to be bright or anything. I just want to tone the, the dark spots. That's why I use the glycolic acid. But this is what I use after that. And then after that, I use my serum. So this is also from the same brand, The Ordinary Serum. I use that as well. And then um, I learned that when you're using these products, right? So starting from here, you need this to sit in for 60 seconds so it works properly, okay? Let it sit in for 60 seconds. So after it has dried 60 seconds, I use this. After that has dried 60 seconds, if the night before I did not use my skin or rain, I will use the skin or rain, okay? I use that. So after that, I use the lotion. Also, let it sit in 60 seconds at least because it's, I think it's the thickest of all the products that I used. Oh, the, the sunset is really beautiful. It's very, like, a bit thicker. So I let this sit in for a longer time. And then after that, holy grail, you need sunscreen. You need sunscreen because this is brightening your skin and opens it up for like more um, damage from the sun. So you need this. And you can see this one is very tired of, of this life, but we'll use it till it finishes. So yeah, I use this and first you, you pump it in the room and then you spray it on your face. It serves also as a great base for your makeup and it makes you glow even without makeup. Um, Balea also has a, um, one but it's more of a cream and that also works really well for black skin i'm going to try and get the picture and add here as well i use that but not bring it with me on this trip so um definitely definitely try that if you want more of a cream that you can also use for your whole body try that because for us dark skin girls that one would not give you like a blue cast or a white cast it is really really good because I used the one from another brand, I think it was Rituals, and would give my face, you know, this bluish hue. I, I didn't like it. So this definitely is what you really need in this journey. You need, even no matter where. I also use it in winter, not just in summer, in winter. So I've been using this, why this bottle is so tired. I've been using this for months, okay? Throughout winter, I started using this in October. So yeah, and it's it goes along. We don't even need much. That's why since October, it's been six months. It still has a lot in it. So guys, that is it. For my skin, I use baby oil. I use jojoba oil. Um, I use this other cream. Yes, this one. <clears throat> this is 155 at DM. So, so good. It abs like your skin absorbs it immediately and it saves you the whole day the whole day i'm yet to know how this would work for me in summer but in summer i'll put the sunscreen all over my my body so because you know you're going to be wearing like shorter clothes and everything but this is really really good and on days that i'm not using 
um, this. I use cocoa butter from Beauty Secrets from Ghana. That is what I've been using for a long, long time. That serves my skin, my body really well, but my face, no. I think it's also because it's oily or something. So guys, that is it. Hope this video is helpful. I've tried to show you guys everything. And yeah, basically that's all I use. So if you're in Germany and you're trying to figure your way through skincare without um, having to use harsh products with hydroquinone and everything, dedication, patience, great diets, lots of water is definitely, definitely going to help you. Yes. Thanks for watching and see you in my next one. If you have any questions, any topics you want us to discuss, don't hesitate. Comment those down below. If you have other products that you are using, please, please, please comment those down below. And um, yeah, let's let's all learn together. Let's all make, you know, navigate.